Hello and welcome. I call the channel The Jungle Nook, and if you've been following along, you'll know that I divide my content up between freshwater aquariums and the houseplants. And this video is going to be focusing on the houseplant side of the channel. It's going to start out as a channel update and then progress into an introduction into a new series that I'm working on. Now, I literally just got home, walked through the door, grabbed the camera, hit record. I haven't even cleaned up or changed, but it's what I had to do just to get this video out. It's been two weeks since my last video, and I want you guys to know I'm still here. I'm still working on the channel, working on the videos. Um, what has happened is I made a video a few months ago on how I care for my plants by request, tropical house plants, tips and tricks. And after I finished that, it ended up becoming a series actually. And when I finished the series, I did a video very similar to this, where I thanked everybody for all the support and told you I was going to start working on making this channel better. Start putting up more of the houseplant type chant or videos and increase the overall amount of videos. Well, I'm still doing the aquarium videos and I was able to get out more of the uh, the, the videos on, uh, on the house plants and how I care for them and stuff, but I have not been able to increase the amount of videos that I am uh, able to produce. I am a one man show. I'm the cameraman, the editor, research and development, I'm the custodian, the narrator, and it's very time consuming. Uh, but I am still here, I'm still working on everything, and one of the things that I did was I did purchase some new editing software, and I've already noticed in the last few videos that I have uh, improved uh, sound, and I have some, uh, I have a greater access to uncopyrighted uh, music and some other different, different tools and things that I can use in this software to help improve the channel. And I did put out a bunch more of the plant videos. But something else that I did is I, I started binge watching some other content providers that specialize in helping small channels like mine to improve their channel, increase their viewer count, and, and how to come up with new ideas and stuff and, and for videos. I also have been using uh, the YouTube Studio, which is something YouTube provides to us to uh, pretty much give us all the same advice and information and a lot of it is very repetitive and one of the things that I hear a lot is if you make a video and it does better than your average video don't stop making different videos that are still on topic with what your channel is but make more of those same videos that did really well well I actually did that because it ended that standalone video on how I care for my plants became a whole series. And I think part of the reason why that series did as well as it did was, uh, well, for one thing, although I wasn't producing videos on how I care for my plants, this channel is only about oh, a year and a half old. And the plants in this room are only about two years old. And a lot of them started out really small. I think I had a monstera about this big, which was my largest plant. And you guys in the background of the other videos got to see them grow. And I propagated a lot of them uh, from cuttings as well, or from small four and six inch pots. So it, it really put some proof in the pud pudding that what I'm doing is working because a lot of what I do is unorthodox. Some of it were even taught not to do. But when I made that video, the first one, I did not just show you guys and explain what I'm doing. I try to put an emphasis on what the plant's needs are and how and why what I do meet those needs of the plants, as well as how all the different things that I do all kind of fit together like a puzzle to, uh, to get the results that I got in the last year and a half with all of these plants. Now, Something else that I seen when I was looking up, uh, you know, trying to get <clears throat> advice and guidance on how to improve the channel was they, there was a lot of emphasis on like DIY videos and top 10 videos. 
uh, specifically top 10 videos in 10 minutes. Because in theory, you are solving 10 problems, answering 10 questions, or giving 10 tips in 10 minutes, and there's a lot of value to that. Then I thought that would be a real fast video. And immediately after my last video, which was just a walkthrough where I showed the house and some, some other rooms that I've never really shown before, and showed them decorated for Christmas. It was a holiday plant room tour. I thought within a day or two I was going to have a top 10 done where I was, it was just going to be uh, top 10, uh, my favorite top 10 plant care myths. And what happened was... So for a few hours, for several days, I worked on this top 10 uh, list to debunk some, some myths or misconceptions. And I did it and I reviewed it. and. I just wasn't happy with it. It seemed too generic. It seemed like there were too many videos out there already doing the same thing. And it didn't seem like I was really putting any new or additional value into debunking these myths. Um, so what I decided to do was to redo the video and only do five and do them in 20 minutes. I reduced the amount of topics in half and doubled the amount of time and it still came out to a half hour but I found myself having to exclude or remove some real good information but also after I did that video I, I realized that a lot of these myths or misconceptions some of them are actually really good advice they're just not going to solve the problem that they claim they're going to solve or they're not going to have the type of results that they're that they're promising but they're still fairly good pieces of advice and i didn't want to just you know say yep this doesn't work and this is why but if it is good advice i wanted to explain how that advice is um, beneficial so then i i realized you know this is going to have to be a series and I can put some of these topics together, like for instance, some of the misconceptions about watering and humidity. I can put them together because they fit together and complement each other. But I noticed as I was looking at some of the other top 10 videos or similar videos about uh, plant care myths, NASA has recently done a study not too long ago where they did an experiment in a controlled setting where they were uh, seeing just how well do house plants purify the air by removing toxins and pollutants within the air. And their study was done in an airtight environment and they realized that although plants do remove toxins from the air, they cannot remove them in a home you're just not going to be able to put enough plants to remove enough toxins to have any positive health benefits a lot of people talked about this study some of them left it right there and a few continued on to explain you know some of the other benefits that you do have from having house plants and that's what i want to do that's where i want to really get into a good discussion because although they don't remove toxins to improve air quality, they do remove harmful microbes, organic living microbes, specifically funguses, molds, and bacteria that can be harmful to us. And you do not need as many plants as I have. Just a couple of plants in each room can literally reduce these microbes by up to 50%, which is a really good health benefit. Uh, with air quality and purity. But also, uh, if you just have a few plants in a room, that will um, reduce your stress hormones, reducing stress and anxiety. Um, and then if you have these plants, and again, you don't need as many as I do, but if you also put these plants in direct line of sight, like next to a television, uh, maybe a uh, uh, next to your computer, even at work, if you have an office job, have a plant there where it's in your line of sight, 
They don't know why, but there's been a lot of studies done. Um, they don't know why this happens exactly, but it does release endorphins, which is a feel-good chemical, which improves your mood and your happiness and your joy. And they also found that when you are able to have these plants in your home and have them in your line of sight, it dramatically multiplies the positive effects. They have found that it literally improves your cognitive ability. It can strengthen your immune system. And uh, these things improve your mental health. They help with depression. Uh, they, uh, they can help you with actually healing quicker from physical ailments and injuries. Um, and I'll get into all of this. There's, there's, there's a lot more than what I'm just, just telling you right now. I'm just trying to give you an idea of how I'm putting my videos together in this series, my top 10 together. It's not all going to be in one video because I want there to be value. And I, I think you guys are beginning to expect a, a, certain, a certain kind of format or a certain quality of these videos that I'm doing which I am starting to see and it wasn't even intentional it, it just kind of developed that way and I want to continue that other advice that I got when trying to, 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 to get advice on how to improve the channel is and there's a lot of this YouTube recommends it the other content providers recommend it and maybe it does work for certain types of videos but they're recommending high energy excitement you know extreme emotion and that's that's not what i want it's not me and that's not what i want in my channel i can't do i can't project something that i'm not i'm not an actor <laughs> you know and and that's not what i want for the channel it's not what i think you guys want for the channel so yeah i'm still here i'm still putting videos out i am a one man show i have a family i have a full time job so although no, I'm not going to get a lot more videos out quicker, I am going to try to still have quality videos for you guys. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the upcoming videos.